Good morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. I heard a expression in my spirit this morning when I woke up, and it's a common criticism against what some people call the prosperity gospel, uh, the word of faith teaching. I've heard it said many times, that's an American gospel. And I was reminded of Hebrews 13, 8, that says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, the verses of scripture, such as 2 Chronicles 20, 20, that says that if we believe in the Lord, we'll be established. If we believe the prophets, we shall prosper. Uh, that was written in an ancient culture that knew nothing about modern living, representative government, the freedoms that we enjoy and take for granted uh, are were completely unknown and unimagined. Hello from Pittsburgh. Hello. And so to say that prosperity is an American gospel is to ignore the fact that 2,000 years ago, John wrote to the elect lady and said uh, that God was willing that they prosper and be in health even as their soul prospers. That Jesus said uh, he came that we might have life and life more abundantly. And he told his disciples that the Son of Man didn't come to destroy, but to save. Columbia, South Carolina, hello. And so Hebrews 13.8 Suggests says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, what that means, Kentucky, hello. What that means is that God's no respecter of persons. Peter said that when he went to Cornelius' house. But he is a respecter of faith. And if we do with our faith what others have done with their faith, then we will see the same results. Let me say that again. If we do with our faith, God's given unto every man the measure of faith, what others have done with their faith, we'll see the same results. That's the implied statement in James when he says that Elijah was a man of like passion as such as we are, but he prayed that it would rain, and that first that it would not rain, and it didn't, and then he prayed that rain would come, and it did. So don't let somebody with contaminated theology talk you out of the blessing of God. Now, I want to remind you that the prophetic school begins August 17th. We have five courses, and we've changed our policy. We used to ask that the students would begin with course one and go all the way through course five. Now, beginning at the last rotation of these six-week online courses, we've made it possible for you to choose what course you want to take. We have uh, beginning courses for any believer that just wants to learn how to hear the voice of God more accurately in his life, all the way up to prophetic counseling, understanding prophetic office, propagating the prophetic, moving in prophetic evangelism, plugging into the purposes of God as a prophetic person. All of these courses are available to you. They are online courses. <clears throat> you have a video a downloadable PDF, and then there are activation exercises that you do with other interns in a safe learning environment where you get prophesied to and you get the opportunity to prophesy to others and get feedback in training you. It's, it's life changing. It'll make a positive difference in your life and It'll help any believer because the Bible says you can all prophesy. It's not just the purview of the prophet. The prophets don't have the copyright on prophesying. Uh, but it's also, there have been those who have taken our advanced courses and have moved into full-time prophetic uh, ministry. And so I encourage you, August 17th, uh, all the information is on the website. Go to propheticnow.com. Choose the course that you would like uh, to take. And uh, will you, there, there are payment options there. They're not expensive, but I understand living on a budget. And so if you need a budget uh, plan, we have something there to make it very affordable to you. Uh, it'll be life-changing. The Father says today that 
I sit between the cherubim and I move heaven and earth in your behalf. There is no length to which I will not go to bring you out of many waters and to establish your sitting down and your going out, O my beloved. Fear not what man can do to you. Do not be amazed when men threaten and bellow out their aggression against you. I will have them in derision. I will put a stop to the lie of the enemy, for I am the solution to the pollution the enemy wants to defile your life with. There is strength in my judgments, and I am bringing down the gavel in your favor. I will establish equity in your situation and righteousness in your circumstance. Trust in my hand to work in your behalf. All of the prophets and the sages down through time looked upon the earth and understood that in the final report, it is my will that is being done and my purpose that is being brought to bear. And this includes you. This includes your circumstance. Trust in and rest your case in me, for I am adjudicating for you in the earth, says the Father, and you will prevail. Praise God. What a powerful word for those that are dealing with difficult circumstances. I encourage you, visit us at propheticnow.com if you would like to receive a personal prophecy from our team, you would like help with prophetic dream interpretation, or maybe you'd like to fly into Branson, Missouri for a mentoring weekend. It's a life-changing experience. There are many resources available to you because God has tasked my wife Kitty and I with raising up a relevant prophetic generation. Visit us at propheticnow.com. God bless you.